Hey, what's up guys? Your boy Chris here of 1980-something co. Back at you with another, yet another, mail day unboxing video. So today I got, as always, a ton of mail. I had another box that was supposed to come in uh, today, but it's running late. All good though, because we got all this stuff that we could still do. We got all this we could do. So we're going to do all this mail. So get comfy. Let's do this. All right. Uh, up first, let me move that over there. Uh, this is something from Cool Casey's Closet. Cool Casey's Closet. Yo, what's good, Casey? If you're watching this. Ah, 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 ah. There's a toy in here. And there's a pin. And uh, it's the Animaniacs nurse. Hello, nurse. So thank you for that, Casey. Uh, and this is like a like a toy stopwatch, like a '90s McDonald's toy. It's like a stopwatch with Michael Jordan on it. That's pretty sick. And I have to figure out how this works. Oh, okay, there it goes. It ticks. It doesn't tick. All right, now it's just gonna be like a cool decoration in the office. So, hell yeah, thank you for that, Casey. All right. Oh wait, we gotta look at the tease that I got from him. All right, so this is just a little. Little cool little uh, joint that he had on his live when he went on the virtual flea. And as always, all this stuff is from virtual flea, unless otherwise I'll state it. But I thought this was cool. Uh, my child is homeschooled, and so was, and it's all these people that were also homeschooled. So you got Abraham Lincoln on there, you got uh, Mozart on there, and uh, you got uh, FDR on there. Let me see how many I can name off of here. Uh, I might just start making up names. You got Lance Helsing. You got Brian Gumble, you got um, George McClintock. <laughs> all right, but I just thought it was cool, especially right now with COVID, like all these kids are staying home and they're homeschooled because you know they're taking all their classes on Zoom. So I thought that was super relevant. So let me stack that right over there. All right, up next, other thing that I got from him was, oh shoot, I didn't even uh, buy this from him. Yo, I hope this wasn't someone else's, it's Star Wars in concert. And there you got Darth Vader right there getting his sing on. Super cool. Thank you very much for that, Casey. I have some loose articles in here. This is just something that I need to, I need to wash. So I'll toss that over there. On to the next pack. And I uh, just want to also remind you guys, I have an auction website. It's virtualflea.auction. And on that website, you can register and you can bid on things that uh, we put up from previous Virtual Flea vendors. It's a cool way to get a steal. A cool way to uh, get your hands on something that uh, uh, for the low maybe or uh, something that you've never seen before something rare that could be put up there so go check out virtualflea.auction all right up next this is from a wall vintage dude check these out so these uh, are some Michael Jordan sweats super hyped on these MJ the goat starter logo on the bottom uh, starter logo on the back pocket I've, I have the short version of these the shorts but the sweats are so sick made in usa starter those are very very fire uh and with them i got this mario weed shirt that i thought was pretty cool it's like a wii gaming console except uh, mario is definitely plastered i like that this was uh <clears throat> this was something i got off of ebay ebay snipe as they say uh and this is, so I had this shirt a couple weeks back. You might have, I might have shown it on a video, but I got this Hot Wheels shirt in large, and now I got it again in XL. And this one looks like it's in even better condition. And this one's actually single dingle because the other one that I had was not single dingle. So, and this one's on the actual uh, Hot Wheels tag, which is pretty cool. So, dated, yes sir, 98, Mattel, single dingle, straight banger. That one was on the auction site this past week. Uh, somebody came up on that one. All right. Crazy thing about that one is uh, Hey Dot Vintage won that on, off the auction site in in the size large, and then said, "Hey, if you want another one, there's an XL." And he sh he lobbed that one to me. So shout out Hey Vintage for the love on that one. This one is from a virtual flea vendor. Uh, he was also MVP. We're talking about the man Cam Slost and Found really cool stickers these are definitely going up on my drawer unit over there but uh oh, okay cool so we threw some uh gifts in there for the kiddo 
Lion King hat. <whistles> Lion King, uh, what do they call this hat? I think it's called, uh, I forget what it's called, the style of it, but this is really cool. It's gonna look really cute on my son. Thank you very much for that, Cam. Let's see what else we got in here. We got the dead stock. Oh, you know, I just realized he sent me the dead stock. Uh, oh, he sent me the dead stock Toy Story tees. And uh, I got these from, uh, who was it who gave me? Uh, Barter King uh, a couple episodes ago. And now I got them again also. I didn't even realize they're the same characters. But thank you very much, Cam, for these. Uh, nice little double up for the kid. Yeah, my son's got cool vintage and he's got some uh, bangers that he's doubling up on. Look at him. He, I'm starting him off on the right feet. More stickers from Slost and Found. Thank you very much for those. Now to the pieces that I actually bought off of him. Here we go. This is really cool. This is like a Jesus T, but it's like a PlayStation parody. So it says Salvation. Came from his world, died for hours. Super sick. All the Jesus T's, uh, big fan of them. And to have one that is a parody of uh, PlayStation is really dope. Uh, and I also got mini always hits for me, so I got this mini shirt. It's like a heathered gray, but not really heathered gray. It's like a heathered pink, which is pretty dope. Big mini hit on there. Nice and colorful. Super good piece. And uh, as always, these pieces, the majority of them, the large majority of them will be available on the... Uh, on my website, 1980somethingco.com, unless I decided to keep stash, you know how we do. This is from, all right, doesn't say the IG on here, and I got to check inside these packages now every time because uh, last episode, I threw away a dollar that somebody sent. I guess I overpaid by a dollar, so the vendor sent me the dollar. Uh, such a kind gesture. open this up and this is from DB vintage man this was quick because I think I just bought this like uh, this today's Wednesday I think I just bought this on Sunday so he shipped this out quick Ren Stimpy button in there all right cool first time getting buttons I've never got buttons before I'll put, probably put them on the couch uh, and here we go that really cool insanely good condition Joker T loving that that's fire Thanks very much for that, for supplying the waves. All right, up next, this is from Hey Vintage. Speaking of Hey Vintage, this is the man that uh, I told you won the Hot Wheels auction. Uh, and whoa, yo, my man threw in some Supreme cookies. So he had a bunch of snack tea, so it's almost uh, appropriate that he would have some snacks in there, but to throw in the Supreme cookies, what are these retailing at, like $1,000? Uh, just without the cream filling yeah I don't know I'm not a supreme guy but that is really dope I don't even know if I'm gonna eat those I might just post those up somewhere because that's pretty cool that he shot me those all right and then uh, let's see here size large this is a crocodile hunter rest in peace Steve Irwin anytime I come across his tees when I can I, I definitely got to swoop those up what a ripper what a ripper <laughs> it's on a giant tag what a ripper indeed, Steve Irwin, RIP. I'm a big fan of NASCAR tees right now. NASCAR collab tees, NASCAR Batman, NASCAR Hot Wheels, NASCAR Superman, NASCAR Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Do you guys know what that mascot's name is, The that, that rooster dude? His name's Corny. So... It's a NASCAR tee, very colorful. You got the man Corny on here, dope collab. And then it says right there on the chest hit, Corny. I love it, dude, so sick. I had a, just a shirt with just him once, and it just had him doing the thumbs up with the feather that he does with his wing. And on the bottom it said Corny. And I thought it was like a joke on him, like they're saying like he's Corny or whatever. But that was really his name. But I think that's what made the shirt dope is that you could take it both ways. All right. All right, uh, this is more things I gotta throw. So this is something in the personal. Uh, I'm gonna wash it up for you guys and I'm gonna put it on the website soon for sale. I've had my time with it. Made some, had some good memories with it. Uh, time to pass it on to a new home that's gonna really appreciate it, my Metal Gear Solid T. Off it goes, so you'll probably catch that on the website. 
on Friday, Friday, uh, July, what is it going to be? July 3rd, July 3rd at noon, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. All right, this next one is from Mike, the Thrift Martian. Check that bag real quick. Nothing. All right, cool. Uh, the Thrift Martian. Uh, looks like he, uh, all right, cool. So these are two bangers. You can always count on the Thrift Martian to have some bangers on deck. He's going to be a vendor in July as well. I believe he's going to be the 12th or the 19th. I'm forgetting, but he's going to be a vendor this come this month of July. So look out for him. He is definitely one of those vendors that I feel is uh, very, I, I want to represent the virtual flea experience because he always has really good stuff. It's always a lot of fun uh, watching him do all his auctions and all that stuff. And um, just always always coming with new fresh stuff every time he does come on. Not really any repeats. So I'm always uh, looking forward to his set. His last set though, I copped this. This is on a changes tag, size XL, super good condition X-Men tee. And this is from the movie. So you got all the characters from the movie right there. Oh man, I just love this tee. Really good condition, dated. 2000 and single dingle and then the other tee that i got you know i love my dark knight tees this is a dark knight rises tee because this one has uh bane and batman but i mean dude how sick is that there's one other dark knight rises tee that i definitely need to get my hands on but uh this is a good start right here there's two that i really like this is one of them uh the other one all good things come in their due time all right uh got this one from the virtual fleet this was a pickup from vintage marvel attic who lives not too far from me he lives like probably like not even 10 minutes away from me so he came and dropped this off so that's why i got this one right away but so many hours spent on this game so many uh i remember people used to hate that i would do a drop shot and just murk everybody up on this game man i would literally when i had a nine to five before i started doing this full time i would like work hard all week and then just get home immediately Friday afternoon and just play to like I would play I would even play in the mornings before work sometimes like I played this game so much I was really good at it proud of how good I got at it and uh yeah I was proud of that but yeah so many hours spent on that game good game all right this is another straggler that was in there oh, okay so uh this is from Lift and Thrift and Lift and Thrift was here uh, he did his set for the virtual flea here because he also lives close by. So he came through. I was his cameraman. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And these are the two pieces that I got from him. I got this Hulk shirt. This is Eric Bana Hulk. That movie's pretty dope. Um, not, not a terrible movie. Uh, different take on Hulk than what you see in the Avengers movies, but still very fun. 03 Hulk. Good graphic. His teeth and his eyes kind of have like this glittery white graphic to them really dope uh and then i also got this grail right here there's a jiminy cricket on that uh disney designs tag that you love you just love that tag single dingle jiminy cricket super clean give a little whistle on the back super dope piece all right on to more of these packs because we got packs right here all right this one is from graphic nest the homie pat This is a really dope piece. Caught this one right here. Uh, Corpse Bride. And this is dated 2005. It's got that uh, Nightmare Before Christmas type artwork. Tim Burton. Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. Super sick. Never seen a tee for this movie. Uh, so I was hyped to get my hands on that one. Up next, this one is from Yay. Oh, this is Yay Area Vintage. So I don't even think he had a set. I think he was uh, open live. He hopped on the open live and uh, this is what I got from him. So in there, he's including uh, some Marvel trading cards. So we got Megan and Multiple Man. So I don't know when these characters will show up in the movies, but it's crazy how many characters there is. Multiple Man. I can be pretty self-reliant, especially when I've got other selves to rely on. Oh, that's pretty sick. Uh, Megan. I like this dream, it's worth fighting for, Excalibur Special. Once believed by her gypsy parents to be a demon child, the shape changer known as Megan recently learned more of her true origins. She's a blessed child of white magic, one of the benevolent creatures known as fairies. 
With this knowledge and her power to assume many forms, the lovely Megan continues to fight evil of all kinds at the side of her mutant companions, the team of heroes known as Excalibur. Dope! Sick! And from Yay Area Vintage, Yay Area! I got this uh, dope Darth Maul chest stripe, as I call it. Super reminiscent of like late 90s, like skate tees and stuff. Like, I feel like all the tees that you would find at like department stores had like this chest stripe. It's kind of like a Hawaiian shirt, like t shirt style. Just that, I call it the chest stripe. Um, Darth Maul dead in the center right there, looking mean as hell. Love this one, really good piece. <clears throat> all right let's open this one right here this one is from jan michael vintage the homie jan sub jan uh definitely a virtual flea favorite always has really good stuff always has a good uh good mood o always brings a good vibe i love having him on always makes me laugh when i'm hosting him uh and from him i picked up this bone daddy shirt super sick nightmare before christmas i always do good with the nightmare before christmas merch on the Nightmare Before Christmas tag, made in USA, super clean. <whistles> Damn, that's that's a fire one right there. Yup. So we got the pizza packaging. Uh, so that can mean only one thing, and that is these are packs from Vintage Wiz. So this one's already open. I forget why I opened this one. Uh, oh, just because you know when you get a pack from Vintage Wiz, you just want to know what's in it, cause dude always has heat. So. This is no different. Uh, right here we got the Stanley DeSantis size large with the twister hit on it. So dope. I love the colors on that one. That thing is sick. Uh, and then the other one that was in here. Oh, look, another Crocodile Hunter. And it's the exact same graphic on the same day too. These guys live probably like on other sides of the country from each other, but they had the same tee on the same day. There's uh, Steve Irwin on the giant tag. Whoa, Ripper! So that's cool. All right. And then this one right here has a T that I definitely want to keep in the personal. So we're going to open this one last. So to be continued, uh, this one here is an online snipe. And this one is, uh, you know, me and my Dark Knight collection. This is a Harvey Dent shirt. How sick is that? Like Harvey Dent, I believe in a Harvey Dent. And if you didn't see this movie, you would think like probably this is just some shirt for some politician. But I love that it doesn't say outright on it anywhere like... Oh, uh, Batman or Batman movie. There's no Batman logo on it anywhere. Super sick. It's not even my size, but I had to get my hands on it. Uh, size medium, but uh, definitely needed it in the con in the collection. All right. So up next, we got something from Chewy's Vintage. Chewy's Vintage. Uh, another virtual flea vendor. Regular. Hops on pretty regularly. Um, always. He's been signing up since I first started doing it. Chewy. Chewy's Vintage. And let's see here. We got a card there. And from him, I got this beautiful, extra good condition, free willy shirt, single dingle, super dope. If you haven't seen this movie, it's a, real, it's a feel good movie of the year type situation. 93 on that marinara tag, as they call it, free willy. Super dope. Great colors on that one. All right. Oh, we got a pack over here. This is from Millie's Market. The homie Billy. Millie. A Millie. A Millie. Got a card right there from the man. All right. And from him, I got, I picked up this Superman tee. This thing is so dope. Anytime you see a villain uh, cursing on the graphic is a plus for me. Uh, but this is about as close as I've seen Superman curse. So, okay, punks, let's party. So he's pissed right there. I don't know who pissed him off, but I feel sorry for them. And uh, I just love this graphic with the quote, uh, single dingle. One thing that everybody made fun of on, uh, about this one on the virtual flea is that tag. Look at the size of that tag, bro. That thing is huge. Uh, Krypton tag, uh, single dingle made in USA. Super hyped on this piece right here. This is sick. This is really dope piece. Uh, crazy thing about this one is like, he showed it and uh like I, I don't know why i didn't sw swoop it right away but at the end of virtual flea i hit him up and i was like hey by chance do you still have that superman tee and he had it so i swooped it up i don't know why uh everybody slept on it all right up next 
so this is a shirt that I used to have in my personal collection because uh, I love I love this shirt so much. Uh, and this is from Flip, Fresh Impressions Vintage. Chris, thanks again for all the love and support. Everybody go check out Flip. Flip is a G. Uh, on the first few uh, virtual fleas, he hopped on the open live and said that he wanted to auction a piece. And he's like, to me, the creator of the auction within the virtual flea because before him i remember i was nervous when he said that because i was like damn how would that even work like but i didn't want to stray away from a new idea with the virtual flea so i was like, all right let's do it a little nervous as i was i was like everybody started putting your bids up i think he had the sweater for like 60 to 80 bucks it ended up selling uh after that uh because everyone as soon as he said the price he's like i want like 60 or whatever he said 80 and um everybody in the comments was like dm first and like people were going crazy over it so i was like all right well let's try that that auction thing so we did it started taking bids by the end of it he got uh like 140 for it so that's when i was like you know this could be fun and uh that same day people started wanting to do auctions as well and now auctions are such a important part of the virtual flea experience it makes it so much fun so if you've never joined one of my virtual fleas, first of all, do that. Every Saturday and Sunday, uh, I go live with all my vendors throughout the day. You can go to virtualflea.market and see all the vendors uh, by the date and the time that they're gonna go live and just tune into my Instagram, 1980somethingco, uh, to watch it. And uh, basically, the way the auctions work is uh, the vendor will show the piece, give all the details on it, size, measurements, flaws, if any, um, and then give the starting bid and then in the comments I'll have the viewers put in their put up their bids and then after you know a specified amount of time I'll end it and whoever's got the highest bid obviously is gonna win the piece and uh, it just makes for so much fun in addition to seeing really cool vintage you get to interact with the seller the audience gets uh, kind of competitive sometimes and it's just really fun so tune into that anyway flip Fresh Impressions Vintage. This is a shirt that I had in my personal. This one looks like it might actually fit me, but I love this shirt so much. Medea goes to jail. I just love the oversaturated color of it. Uh, Medea, Tyler Perry's Medea is just such a super crazy, iconic character to me. Um, so, uh, you know, larger than life character. That back hit is crazy though. I ain't scared of no popo. This is a shirt that is just so fire. I don't know why. I just, I've never even seen this movie, but I just love this this shirt the colors of it this character uh i wear xl this one's a large but it looks like a dead stock large hopefully i can keep this one because i'd love to have this one back in my collection i had this shirt once uh super faded i think it was the first time i got it it was super faded like a nice gray and i remember thinking like this is kind of a cool shirt i sold it immediately and regretted it so much so the next time I got my hands on it, I kept it for a very long time in my personal collection. Uh, but I've never been able to get it in that same fade that I got it the first time. Uh, do you have any pieces like that that you think about all the time or that have made you want to go get another piece like it, but you can never duplicate the wear on that one piece that you had? Drop it in the comments. Let me know about it. All right. So, yeah, there's that uh, Medea piece. Super dope. And I think I got a couple Medeas, actually. I was on a Medea streak this week. <clears throat> all right up next this one is uh from the vintage dreamer i feel like I, I show something that i buy from him every episode i just bought something from him today too i bought a really dope oprah winfrey shirt uh but this is a dope colorful dare shirt nice and thin these i always do really well with uh people love them especially the colorful graphics like that all right up next uh vintage new school so vintage new school another vendor on the virtual flea and i forgot what i bought from him but let's take a look and see what it is uh, this is the, oh, sick. This is a vintage, um, what's this, uh, Haunted Mansion ride. So uh, the Disney tees have been going up. The Disney ride tees have been going up. Super popular. And uh, especially if you got the characters on it, like Mickey, Goofy, and Donald on this one. They're on the Haunted Mansion ride. And then, of course, it's got to have this back hit. Watch out for Hitchhiking Ghost, which is the famous quote that you read as the ride starts. And then at the end of it, of course, you see the illusion of a ghost in your cart. So dope. I love this one. Super good. Uh, all right. And I think this is the last one. And then we'll go on to the final one that I saved for the end. This one is, uh, again, from Fresh Impressions Vintage. Shout out Flip. And 
And this is, oh, crazy that these came out back to back. Another Disney ride tee. It's on the red Mickey tag right there. This one's nicely tie dyed. And there you go. So it says the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. You got Mickey looking down. He's super shook. He doesn't know what's going to happen. Uh, and then on the back, it says, I suggest you take the stairs. So super dope piece right there. Thank you very much for that one, Flip. And now for the final piece, this is from the homie Kirk. What's up, Kirk? Uh, MVP, who will also be selling this weekend, so make sure you tune into that. I think he's selling on Sunday. Uh, and he is going to be, he's gonna kill it. But anyway, uh, the reason I'm excited to open up his pack because I got this really dope 80s tee, which I, uh, another one that I always do really well with, and I just love it because it just has all the different events of the 80s so you got like uh some some really dope things like just this rubik's cube looks cool because the color of it uh, along with the rest of the graphic you got uh some indiana jones action on there perrier that's when perrier dropped and everybody thought they were fancy if they were sipping perrier you got the little uh colorful macintosh apple logo there madonna's on there uh you got roger rabbit that was the first like edgy cartoon movie Super Mario premiered in the 80s. Uh, you got the Air Jordan 1s down here. Those dropped first in the 80s. You got Run DMC, Stephen King. You got the MTV logo. That was the birth of MTV. was in the 80s. And uh, just a lot of uh, really Cabbage Patch Kids, Pee Wee Herman. You got Jack Nicholson uh, as his role in The Shining there. So, Batman. Pff, crazy tea. I love this tea. It's, it's dope because it has all... Like, you can make a tee out of everything on this shirt, and it would be a dope tee by itself. I mean, you got Princess Di getting married there. <sighs> so sick. Uh, and this is the piece that I'm actually glad is going to be the last piece that I show. This is a piece that uh, I've been... Monopoly pieces have been popping up in the virtual fleet here and there. None that I really wanted to pull the trigger on, but this one right here is super sick. Look at that. So this one says, my first million... And it's got the colorful money on the front. Dated 90, 96 Hasbro. Color, look at that front hit. That colorful money hit on the front. My first million. Oh, this is such a banger, dude. I'm hoping this one fits me right. I definitely would love to keep it. Because uh, I want it to be mine, 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 all mine. Super dope. And that's going to conclude uh, today's mail day video as always these pieces will be you'll be able to buy these most of them on the website 1980somethingco.com go hit that up uh, depending on when you're watching this just know that the drop is friday july 3rd at 12 noon pacific standard time so i'm not sure when this video is going to drop but if you're watching it before then go get on your computer and get ready for the drop if you're watching this after then uh, some things may be sold, but who knows? Go hit the website up. You might still find some of this stuff slipping right here. You just never know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tune into the virtual flea. Hit virtualflea.market for more info. Peace, 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 peace. peace.